Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use splines to cut through meshes. In this obviously empty scene, I'm going to create a plane and change the visibility to constant shading lines. Fantastic. I'm going to set the width and height to one so I can get a single polygon. And just for good measure, for better visibility, go to the basic tab, go to the display color and set it to automatic and let's make it a dark blue. Excellent. Now I'm going to go and make it editable. So we have this one single polygon and uh, let's create a spline. I'm going to go and create an inside because I like insides. Go to the object tab and set it on the X, Z plane. I'm going to scale it down. Press T for scale, move it down. And now I want to move it away from the surface. Just to move it a few centimeters away because if it's on the surface, you're going to have problems selecting it. So let's start with the magic. Select your object and go to a component mode, polygon for example. And then go to mesh and select your line cut or use one of the shortcuts. From this point onwards, all you have to do is press Command or Control, and when you hover over the spline, it will actually highlight it. You can see it's highlighting the splines. Click on that, and you can see now it created a cut with the shape of the spline as it's projected from the camera point of view, which means you can go to the top view, for example, and do exactly the same thing. You press Control and you click, and it creates a projection of that. Let's go back to our 3D view, and you can see it. And you can move your camera around if you wish and uh, press Control or Command. Now, one little thing you need to be aware of is sometimes, depending on the angle of uh, the camera and the position of your mouse, you can press command or control and nothing will happen. In this case it works, but you can see here it's not working. You have to go here. So it may be necessary to uh, look around the spline until it highlights and then you click to create your cut. Now let me go and turn this off and you can see that we have these beautiful little shapes with our beautiful little angles and you can go and select some of these and do whatever modeling operation you want. And uh, it works with any polygonal object and any kind of spline, whether it's editable or procedural. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.